Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Presidents of both parties have delivered their convention speech from the White House before. In 2008, Republican President George W. Bush delivered his convention speech from the White House, endorsing his party's nominee that year, John McCain. In 1940, Democratic President Franklin D. Roosevelt also delivered his convention speech from the White House. 2020 was a bit different, though, because for the first time, the entire Republican National Convention was held on the White House grounds rather than just one speech from a president. Well, Minnesota Democratic Representative Dean Phillips didn't like the look of that. So he has introduced a bill called the R. Lawn Act, which would explicitly clarify in federal law that from now on it would be illegal to host a political convention on the White House grounds. Actually, it's even broader than that. It would ban a political convention from being hosted on any federal land, which would include such potential sites as in front of the Statue of Liberty, the Lincoln Memorial, the Gettysburg Battlefield, or Mount Rushmore. Now, any violation would be punishable by up to a $50,000 fine or up to five years in prison. Now, in practice, it would rarely, if ever, be the actual candidate themselves who got punished. Instead, it would likely be a fine levied towards the Republican or Democratic National Committee. But still, the legislative text would technically allow the nominee, whether Donald Trump or Joe Biden or anybody else, to potentially face up to five years in prison for a violation. Uh, of course, if it was Joe Biden, they would have to retitle the Our Lawn Act as the Get Off My Lawn Act. <laughs>